In this video, let's see how to create an item in Zoho Billing. Items are the goods or services that you sell to your customers. For example, if you run a furniture store, the goods that you sell will be chairs, tables, sofas, beds, and the services you provide would be furniture repair, assembly, and more. In Zoho Billing, you can easily add all your items and use them to invoice your customers. In this video, we will cover the following topics. First, let's learn how to create an item. Log into your Zoho Billing account, go to Product Catalog and click Items. Click Plus New at the top right corner. Here, select the item type. Enter the item name. You can also upload images of your product here. This image will be displayed in transactions whenever you add this item. Select or type the unit of measurement for your product. Enter the selling price. Select an account to track the sales of the item. Give a brief description of your product if required and click save. You have successfully created an item. If you want to migrate your items from some other software to Zoho Billing, you can click the more icon here and click import items. Choose the file you want to import. Please note that you can import your file only in CSV, PSV or XLS format. You can also download a sample file for your reference. In case you have matching records in your import file and Zoho billing, you can choose to override the records or you can also choose to skip them. Select the character encoding based on your import file. By default, UTF-8 Unicode is selected. Choose the appropriate file delimiter and click Next. You will be directed to the Map Fields page. The data format here is selected by default. You can click Edit here to modify them. Here, the field names of Zoho Billing are listed on the left side and the field names in the import file are listed on the right side. Match the field names and check this box if you wish to use the same mapping of fields during future imports. Then, click Next. You will be directed to the preview page where the number of items to be imported skipped and unmapped fields will be listed. Then click import. Now the items in the import file will be imported into the items module of Zoho Billing. Similarly, you can also export your items from Zoho Billing by clicking export items. Let's look at some of the functions that can be performed in the items module. You can edit an existing item on clicking the more icon. You can clone. Mark the item inactive or delete it permanently. Under Transactions, you can view a comprehensive list of transactions associated with this item and filter them by their status. Under History, you can view a chronological record of all the actions that have taken place within this item. Additionally, you can sort. Use the advanced search option to find particular items that meet specific criteria. Customize columns and filter your items based on their status. You can also customize your filter by clicking plus new custom view. You can select the items and mark them active, inactive or delete them in bulk and create transactions like creating a code or invoice for a particular customer. Click the More icon and go to Preferences, where you can modify the Items module according to your business requirements. If you want to add extra fields to the Items page, you can do it under Field Customization. Click Plus New Custom Field at the top, enter the field name, select the data type, Enter the rest of the details and click Save. Now, this field will be shown while creating an item. And that's a wrap for our video. If you have any queries, please write to us at support at the rate zohobilling.com. Thanks for watching.